Beautiful sunny day. Doesn't look like there's a breath of wind out there, and it's gonna, it's it's a good day for some running rugby. Hopefully. Thank you. Kane McBride also, Ken, I can tell you, I spoke with him just before kickoff, and uh, he also is looking forward to this encounter. The referee said that he's going to try and police the scrum a lot earlier, so look to, for him to dominate that particular facet of the game. So just right, Nick. Jade Terude for Manawatu. Very, very exciting number 10 coming through the New Zealand system. Atkins. Matthewson with a wide ball for O'Connor. Higher West standing in the pocket. Looks for some field position. Number four advancing. Michael Allardyce. Saw that last night with. Taranaki having a player in front at the kickoff. Now Michael Allardyce in, in front of the kicker. Even though the ball was 45 metres away, it's deemed to be some sort of a disadvantage to Manawatu. Yeah, yeah. It's a poor start, really. You, uh, you'd be talking about that, that at training and uh, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be ideal from the coach's perspective to see that early on. Templeman, Eve, Gosling. Edward Curtis among the reserves. <laughs> to read it, straight through the middle for this precocious talent out of. Palmerston North Boys High, New Zealand 20s player. Make sure you kick that ball behind the line. Kia Toa Club and Manawatu, Jade Terude. The player with great promise. In fact, the two number 10s out here today, Jade Terude and Ihai West. A couple of very exciting players and an unforced error from Hawke's Bay. So back to back errors for Hawke's Bay won't help their course. It's a poor start, really. They're. Uh, I'd have been hoping for a bit more. Uh, talking to assistant coach Danny Lee earlier earlier today, he was uh, really hoping there would be some, uh, you know, a really good momentum going into this match. And you know they've just got to start thinking about doing the basics right and and move on from there. Well, they've got a huge blind to attack from here, Manawatu. with two. They'll try and get fear of the right hand prop there, the tight head prop, to actually promote his side so that they can angle it out right. And standing out here is Lewis Marshall, and also. Milner Scooter, who certainly has got plenty of pace out here on the right wing. It's the 4-2 split. Only on that image, four players out to the left and two down to the right, just Lewis Marshall and Nehe Milner Scudder. Both exciting runners with the football, so some options. Nick Sturzaka from the Melbourne Rebels. There's the halfback for Manawatu. Good scrum from the Hawks Bay. Kitty, kitty. Lewis Marshall with a little offload and a tackle for Milner Scudder. Sturzaka, to do that. Oh, good shot. Michael Coman with some big defence in midfield. To do that with a ball behind and now an opportunity for Jason Emery with a nice ball back on the inside. Manawatu starting with big momentum. Numbers out to the right side. Again, they settle it in midfield to drag in some defenders. To do that. He goes behind for Lewis Marshall with a right foot step. Good tackle on Lewis Marshall. Some hustle in the tackle ball area as well from Manawatu and Hawks Bay. Step 10. Bandits 10, welcome. Mafu Fair loses the ball. Offside 10, Black. The higher West. There. Well, a couple of things stand out for me in that early exchanges, and that is Emery getting outside of his man and making that beautiful clean break down the left-hand flank. And then the big defence coming in from Coman and also Zach Guilford. Guilford, the man who stopped Marshall. That's where I thought the actual turnover would occur. 
And look at that. That's the first big hit that we've seen from the Hawks Bay. And here's the second from Zach Guilford. Zach Guilford, 11 games for the All Blacks, including 10 tests. forward to watching Tarudet go around. Saw a lot of them in his schoolboy days. Not long out of Palmer's North Boys High. His first season of the ITM Cup and he's two from two. He's a talent. He is, he is. He'd be happy to get, get off the mark with two uh, successful penalty goals. It's, uh, it'll give him some huge confidence going in to this, uh, the rest of this first half and hopefully he can continue that on for the rest of the match. Oh, oh. I'll tell you what Hawks Bay have done. Sick. Wing. One of them is Boot Santa Claus. That's their third consecutive unforced error. Got a player in front for a kick for looking for field position. Yeah, Zach Guilford's the man that's been called out and he's um, he's given the assistant referee a piece of his mind, but geez, I'll tell you what, that was touch and go. And it's, and it's those mistakes that's actually giving Manawa 2 the 6-0 lead. And another perfect platform for Manawa 2 to attack off. Another midfield scrum within the first the six minutes of this picture I've got here is not as close as the last time, and that worked really well. I want you close, guys. Yep. I know the purists can will be loving this, the, the set piece, and in particular the scrum. Good to see the first one that uh, it wasn't reset. And a bit of controversy as well, the way that uh, they're a lot closer now, so the impact here from the hit Shouldn't be bind. damaging for their careers and when they stop playing as well. So nice and close from the get-go there, the bind and then the set. Stand up. A lot of movement there still, eh? Told you guys would come over well, Of course, here. the halfback can't put the ball in until the ref tells him to, so that's the reason why he can't penalise the halfback on that occasion. Here we go, boys. Go left, 22. Go, 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 Put a shot on the opposition number eight. And finally, they're going to get the ball inside the Manu two half. Look at LB Matheson. The ball goes in from Stezaka. Kitty Kitty gets the ball and a little bit of Matheson's shoulder forces the turnover. Good play. I think his experience is going to be crucial today. He's he's had a lot of rugby of late uh, coming back from the Western Force. His experience is going to be great for this Hawks Bay side. Watch, listen. So I think eight minutes gone before they get into the half as a result of those bind errors that they've made. Stop. Oh. <laughs> So here you go. Go! Yeah. So it's now, back a bit and wait, huh? it's not all eyes on the two teams. It's become all eyes on the bloke in pink. It's scrum time. Maxi. Knees, knees. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Yeah, mate. Can you stay? Just stand up. Oh. Yeah. Nice and steady, eh? It's good for you guys, ball. Just a bit closer. You guys start creeping back a bit. A bit closer, we'll take Supposed that hit out. Supposed to improve the game, these changes. Yeah. So we're going to have a third go. Off the back, Atkins, Matheson kicks low into the 22. 
Lewis Marshall. West. Long for Guilford. Guilford to the line. Flat ball out. Wide for Brendan O'Connor. So Hawks Bay full of running. That's a great piece of counter-attack, really. Zach Ilford's come from the back there. He's had full, full eyes at the field. Marginal ball, but, uh, you know, a good first counter-attack from, from Zach Ilford. Stu Sakas hustled into another era. So best opportunity in the game so far for the home team, Hawks Bay. Go. Two with a carry in midfield. They hit the left side again. A little tip on plate. Emery for Tharma. Four. Yeah, perhaps the better option there from the Manawa two captain Coswell was to actually hold on to it. They got over the advantage line here. He's over the advantage line. He just needs to hold on to that ball. Emery should have done the same because that's gone forward. And really, this is the pressure that Hawks Bay have been putting under with their line defence, the speed that they had from that line out to get up and close it down. Yeah. Great opportunity here for Hawks Bay to attack. This is ideal, ideal position for a back line to really launch something at this Manawa 2 side. Crouch. I wonder if going. 8-9 right as well, because Via Inu, we know he's a good right winger, one-on-one -on -one with Tharma, there's plenty of space out there as well, 15 metres or so. We shouldn't be with Ed Yepe. Top right of your screen, that's Tulisar, Via Inu, there he is, a acquisition from Canterbury. Good feet, very fast, out on that right wing. Crouch! Bind! Sit! Yes, nine. Come on! So Matheson, the Ainu is the first receiver, whipped around from the blind side. Now Matheson, pinched a few metres himself, the former All Black halfback does well. Now the pick and go from Michael Coman, great field position for Hawks Bay. They're going to rock and roll from here. Now they're two and a half metres out. Ehiah West is yelling at the forwards to keep going. Just a metre out now, good body position, good defence from Manawa too. Close quarter football, Matheson. Short ball, goes behind Atkins, that's a try. Time. That ball went off Atkins' shoulder, looked like it went back. Bruce, you hear me? Can you just check the transition from the from the player to the eventual try scorer, whether or not that was forward, please? Thank you. He was running a nice pole, nice angle. Atkins, the ball comes off his shoulder. That has gone back, and that's O'Connor. Like any good blind open side flanker, he's right there to take a bit of luck and might have got this down. Well, you've got to be aware, don't you? You play to the whistle. You can see Atkins there. He's coming back on the angle against the grain. He wants to try and get in between that gap, but it has come off his right shoulder, propelled in the air. And for my money, Ken, this will be a try. Spruce. Would the try, thank you. Oh, Brendan O'Connor backing up, but it was an outstanding line by Mark Atkins as well. The ball for Matheson coming off his shoulder. Open side flankers, we expect them to be close to the football. That's exactly what happens here. Even with that little bit of angle change from Atkins, it sucked in the defenders and a bit of luck on Hawks Bay's way, and uh, O'Connor's gone in for a try.
West. Another couple of young Colts out there in the number 10 jersey. And Brendan O'Connor, another graduate of the New Zealand 20s program in 2009. There goes long, and that's it for Ayunu. On the wing, Matheson. Good carry, Matheson. West, <laughs> cut out ball for Buckman. Now the ball along the ground for Guilford. Marshall with an offload. Milna Scudder. Terzaka, Terude. Bidens to do that. Yeah, Inu behind him. West. You happy there's that out? Billy's Kaka. Jack Guilford. You happy there? And the scudder. Lewis Marshall. In trying to put the ball behind Via Inu. West. Just an update on the conditions down here too, fellas, is that the wind is blowing towards Via Inu's wing, so you expect mm -hmm. to see both first fives using so those many. conditions. It's just a light breeze, so it's not too much of an effect, but they're trying to work it and uh, keep Hawks Bay in that left-hand or right-hand corner, as you see it on your screen. Got Foreman, big game for him. His 100th consecutive first-class game. What a player he's been. The NPC is O'Connor. Bumps off the first defender. Good run. Matheson back down the short side. Very good running from Atkins. Now long ball out to the right-hand side. Coleman with a bit of footwork and a nice delivery to finish it off. Gillies Kaka with his name on the score sheet, but great play for Mark Atkins and a nice cameo from Michael Coleman, the captain. And what a finish from Gillies Kaka. Mark Atkins again with a great angle change. Great follow-up play and great left to right pass from the, from the eight to create the try. And Fraser Stone there, you can see him coming across. All the work was done once he'd broken that line. And when you've made a break up field, you throw it wide because that's where the support is. Coleman did a great work. And the little splash there from the man that won, that win, helped win rather, of course, the gold medal at the Moscow Sevens Games, Achilles Kaka. He's got plenty of pace. Well, his job was the easiest of the lot. Yeah, and good angle running from Atkins and a very, very skillful pass so left to right as Easton Nathira alluded to. And then a nice little tip on from Michael Coman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, high West. Oh, and Napier boys high at the Havelock North Club, a very, very exciting talent. Good with the kick, so 12 points to six. Gillies Kaka. Hawks Bay with 76% territory. They're getting down to the right end of the field and they're finally putting points on the board after a shaky start. Shorter on the kick this time and Mark Abbott. Six, keep going, please, with it. Bit of tip on plays from the Hawks Bay Fours. Matheson again goes back down the short side, which has really served him well. It was Max Laheef with the carry, but it turned it over. Lewis Marshall with a big dummy and a ball out the back door, but it's not taken cleanly. Hawks Bay, Matheson, O'Connor. It's a nice ball for Kaka. A little grubber, short. 
And they'll get the throw at the line out Hawks Bay. Gee, they're smart with the ball. No, what's wrong with that? Come on, Jason. Touch the Tucker's done. Excellent there to keep the ball in and then manage to drag the player out. The Hawks Bay player out to give the Hawks Bay another line out to attack from. I'll move them, I'll move them. Come up, please. So look at him. Get on him. Wait. Come in. Thank you. Oh, Dixon. Work at the back of the line out from Abbott, who's having a good game, and then a, a set play in midfield. Matthewson. It's a low ball. Kyle West couldn't take, so it's an advantage for Manawa two. Release, Gwight! Manawa two, it seems an age since they've had the football. Sorry, arms the wrong way. Good time, mate. Good time now. Body language. Man or two will just be happy to get the ball back in their hands now and launch another attacking attacking move off the scrum here. Haven't been down in Hawks Bay's half for a while. They'll be looking to make the most out of this. And there is the KR Tremaine trophy that they're playing for. First presented in 1993, and I went and had a look at it just before kickoff. Manawa 2 have only won it on three occasions in 1986, 2011, and of course last year, where they retained it in 2012. Stand up. Your head is clearly in that hole, and now you're pushing out onto his head. Stay straight, please. I'll get him if you're staying straight. Just a tad closer. Thank you. I'm so pleased these new scrum uh, changes have really improved it, Ken. It's fantastic. It's like a little love now, isn't it? We all snuggle up a bit closer, Crouch. Willie. You know, we're all very nice to each other now. And Bind! <laughs> Gone are the days of... <laughs> Brutal contact. Yes, nine. <laughs> Good feed. Hold, hold. Come back. Not straight. Hold, hold. Yeah. yeah. It is quite ironic when we talk about scrummers because I remember the late great John Drake suggesting that this is what they needed to do was actually bring them closer together and then let the front row sort out the timing. And so uh, it's only taken about 15 years to get us to this stage. Here's hoping it does improve. The front rows don't do the timing, they do that. They are closer together. Drake, you would be loving this. Go back to the days where we could have a million scrums. <laughs> Crouch. 4 2 split for Hawks Bay. Bind. Sit. <laughs> One's angle, sir. One's angle. There's no hit. Just work on the head and shoulders up, and we're going straight, eh? Nice. Zach Ilford's right down here on the near side touchline. Bottom right of your screen. Crouch! Much work with the left wing. You get Matthewson's been Bind. busy. Set. Atkins at the back has yes, nine. been fabulous in his opening 22 minutes. West. Long for Buckman. Taken at the line of defence by Jason Emery. And Michael Coman, the captain. Looked for an offload. He could play a Michael Coman. And West. So Guilford looking for work from the wing. Kaka showed the ball on the inside then. Uh, Tilusabe Inu. Down the right side, he's got great feet, great pace, what a try! From Telusavi Ainu, up from Canterbury. He's a brilliant player through the age grades at New Zealand 20s level. Joined the Tamatea club, and he had plenty of work to do, and his class and his skill got the job done. That's a wonderful try. I thought he could have butchered this here, but he's done absolutely outstanding. Great feet, great finish. Didn't have much room to work with. Hey, 
Well, the key to that try for me is Zach Gilford coming across looking for work, and then Gillies Kaka taking across two defenders, took in his teammate, the Sevens teammate Tharma, and once he'd broken the line, the step, the acceleration, he's all class. He scored, he scored three tries, if I recall, in the New Zealand 20s in the final, I think a few years ago. Very, very exciting player. On the basis of what we've seen so far, there's Terusa Viainu and Mark Atkins. A couple of big off-season acquisitions for Hawks Bay. How good have they been? They've been outstanding so far. It's, a, it's, it's what you want when coming into the squad and outstanding start. Lehigh West puts a very good conversion on a brilliant try from that man there, Viainu. He has thrilled and entertained us. Isn't it a fantastic competition though? You know, Canterbury are just blessed because they've got so many great players down there. And so you mentioned guys like Vienu, also O'Connor, his impact in this game. They've come along to a new franchise and they certainly are raising the bar. Yeah, you know, again. Matheson. This long ball for O'Connor. Six Cross wall penalised. Number six, get out of that side of the ruck. Nick Croswell, limited playing time at the Chiefs. This was with the Highlanders last year, been a long time Manu or two player. Played a bit of eight most of his time at six. Albie Matheson and Ehi West are really controlling this game well now. They're, they're directing the pack around the around the park, and I think uh, Matheson's now starting to snipe up and really get the runners involved. And it's it's his experience that's uh, making Hawks play get the, get the yards they want. Elliot Dixon was called into action for the Hurricanes towards the latter part of the Super 15 campaign, where he gave a very very good account of himself. Nice long ball for. Via, you know, again coming off his wing, Matheson. Cut out ball for Abbott. He gets over the advantage line. It's recycled quickly. Now their big men go to work. Very deliberate and very direct, the Hawks Bay Magpies. Dixon gets his big frame through the Manawatu defence line. Matheson's got options left and right. Atkins caught on the advantage line. Matheson, Abbott. And the big man rolling their sleeves up. Now West, behind play for Guilford, who was looking to throw a long ball. Take it out. For Vienu, so he's getting involved. Guilford. I think the option was right, just the execution was just what let him down there. Definite, definite space out there on the right flank. Well, you can see from that territory stat as well, and that's why they lead by 13 points. Hawks Bay really starting to dominate. And finally, Ken, man or two have some decent ball. Gibbons. Tavidi. Marshall. Looks like they're playing catch up football already. Man or two. Foreman trying to get a bit of go forward. Mafu Fear drops the ball cold, which will be an attacking scrum for Hawks Bay in very good field position. Perfect field position again. They've been, they've been down this end of the field a lot and they've come away with points, so they'll be they'll be hoping to get a great launch here. And get some more points on the scoreboard. You're picking down on a slight angle. He's straight. That's why you get him. Well, everyone else is, you're I know Jason O'Halloran before the game had mentioned to me that uh, he was quoted in the paper as saying that they got, they played the wrong tactics last year and he said that they have learned and so they wanted to play more open running rugby but I think you're right in the sense that it's only 27 minutes gone and really with the possession that they had they should have been looking to try and play the game down on the Hawks Bay end so maybe just the territory of just putting boot to ball getting down there and asking questions of Hawks Bay as opposed to running the ball from their own half and getting into trouble as they did. Michael Coman, the captain of 
Hawks Bay's very unlucky not to play more time in the Super 15. He's had a few injuries of late. And ill fated. And that's the appropriate term for that venture, which didn't go anywhere in 97 98. Wonderful to see Hawks Bay and Manawa 2 playing in their traditional jerseys as well. Even though there's a contemporary times we play in, there's a lot of history around those jerseys that have stayed relatively unchanged over a long period. Certainly, in terms of Hawks Bay, there have been no changes to their jersey over the years. That's exactly what it is, and it's wonderful to see. Albie Matthewson just outside the 22 line on the left of your screen. And they're just to the left of the posts as well. Atkins, it's a short side play. Gillies Kaka from a standing start. It's a very good run from Kaka. Matthewson, long ball for Abbott. Prominent in the game. Mark Abbott, the lock forward. Matthewson, this time's at Guilford. Pirouettes out of the tackle of Sturzaka. So Matthewson, Abbott. Manawa two try to hold the big lock forward, but he does well, a second carry during this phase of possession. Another short ball for Coleman, who made a run from the short side. Seven metres out, Hawks bait. Now the pick and go. He's trying to give themselves some forward momentum before going wide. They're about three metres out now. Hawks Bay. You can hear them organising. Manawa two trying to get in there and disrupt. Playing the ball on the ground. Slow down, slow down. Lock. Well, they've been penalised, but they did well. Get that, get down that far field position. They'll be a bit disappointed there, I think. Ken, they, they got there. They, they, the launch was right. Just a few basic areas at the ruck there of. Uh, let Manawa 2 off the hook. Yeah, they sort of like uh, slowed it down there, didn't they? I think that breakdown of communication there, Albie Matthewson wanted the forwards to come and actually take it, and then it was the counter ruck from Manawa 2 that gained them the penalty. I tell you what, they're running at the shoulders, the weakest shoulders of the Manawa 2 players. That's why they're getting over the advantage line, showing good patience as well, the Magpies. Struggling a bit for field position. Number six and kick the ball. I think that's referred to as a flop in the modern game. And that's what you can't do. Here's Edmonds coming back. He's a prop and he just goes there. He thought the ball was out. Mufri said you weren't on side, son, so you've just given away a penalty. Kakao with a counter attack. Yeah, you knew with a right foot step. Good hustle from Manawa too. They need a no couple more on. plays like that to get back into the contest. Sturzaka. Stone and Fitzgerald have tried hard in the game so far. To do that. Bit of footwork to slip the tackle of the first defender. Bidens. Fitzgerald for Tharma. Tharma operating a bit closer to the action. Move, 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 move. They look impatient. Manawa or two. There's a difference in the 19 combination with, with Hawks Bay, with Weston Matthewson really controlling the game when they've got the ball in hand. They're just, Mano are just lacking a bit of direction at the moment from their leaders. Well, how lucky is this kid Ehi West have Albie Matthewson partnering him in the number nine jersey. We're going to take a lot of pressure and a lot of heat off him. Matthew sitting here, the wonderful Super 15 with the force. In terms of carries and touches with the football in the Super 15 competition, he was third behind Will Guinea and TJ Pedanara. In terms of active involvement, so very, very 
Good Super 15 as uh, Ox Bay on the fly. And they try to get something going on the left side. As a foot pass, you do get options of a scrum or a line out, Nick. Well, he did everything right and he just, he's only disappointed because that would have paid off. That was a certain try if Zach Guilford had taken this pass. He'd overrun it there. And then once he had let it go, if Guilford had caught that, she was shut the gate. Initially, he was looking to give the ball a bit shorter. I think LB on that occasion, but saw that Zach was unmarked and at the last minute changed his mind. The option was right once again, just he's double pumped, one guy's overrun it and just just out of his reach. But if he had got that, we have been try time again for Hawks Bay. Yes, Stir Zaka to Rude, to the line and then a cut out ball in midfield. Stir Zaka and trying to commit some Hawks Bay defenders. Gibbons with a short ball. Goes forward on his hands and knees. Picks up another three or four minutes. A short side play. Thama loses the ball. Putting the ball in the, he's, he's crawling for every inch there. And uh, the ruck was good, just once again. The, the momentum of the nine just going the same way and runners weren't really there and Lama accidentally knocking it off. Stu Zucker, back up halfback to the Melbourne Rebels. Joined by Wallaby Luke Burgess in that competition next year. I know that opinion will be evenly divided, I guess, between Australian players coming and playing in the ITM Cup at the expense of a local. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because it's um, you've got Australian there. Next to Zaki, you've got the Canadian prop and Herbert Biden's the loose head four men were two. And of course, the man that played for London Irish is playing for Hawks Bay in the front row Find. there, Max Lahif. Sit. Cosmopolitan yes, look of the ITM Cup these days. Matthewson. West to the line, and then a late ball for Brady. Coleman, the captain. Beautiful at his arms through the tackle. Well read by Abbott. He's having a fine game, Mark Abbott. Coman taken in a two-man tackle. Matthewson. West. Ball goes behind Tharma. Lewis Marshall. Short of the 22. No, it's to fine. To do that. Hustled into a rush kick. Once again, just lacking a bit of shape when they do get the ball back. Hawks Bay are doing all the right things down their end of the field, just Manawatu haven't managed to get back into the, the attacking half for a good while now. Elliot. Dixon, a nice play to the front of the line out involving Atkins now. Dixon one on one. Forced over the touchline by Nehe Milner Scudder. With a nice little variation at the front of the line out between the two and the eight. Yeah, I wonder if that went five metres though. That's the question I ask. Here he goes, comes to the front. Did he take that ball? Well, marginal. They got away with it though. Defensive. Line out, four man line outs to Zaka. Kitty with the carry. To do this, standing in the end goal, going long. Guilford. Quick throw. Higher west. The midfield bomb. Gillies Kaka was on side. No one takes it. The bounce goes the way of Fraser Stone. Little offload. Nice little tip on Junior Tomasi Tharo with an inside ball. Stezaka 
Into to the 22, he's tackled short, offloads the ball of the tackle. Fitzgerald over the top, back in cover. Walks Bay survive. Advantage. Manawatu, just one more player they needed and they would have scored for sure. Matthewson, Ehi West says, let's get out of here. They go back for the penalty. Number 12. It's a great hustle here from Hawks Bay defence. Never give up attitude and Sturzak is there, is just caught and the first three players around him were Hawks Bay players. Yeah, Fitzgerald, he tried to find, there were plenty of green and white shirts there and unfortunately the bounce popped up and it was the Hawks Bay, Hawks Bay lock. Allardyce who actually got back in time, that's a wonderful recovery but that all came from uh, the fullback for Manawatu, Lewis Marshall letting the ball bounce, the big high up and under, he let bounce. It favoured the Brave, who are actually in the right position. There's Marshall, out to, out to Paura. College with the Freiburg Club. In the New Zealand 17s program as well. Abbott, with the line out when he's in a really good game, Abbott, the lock. Thama gets the ball, and O'Connor's right shoulder at the same time. Marshall with the pick and go. Lahif with the tap. A little short side play, and now... Down the left, Fraser Stone. Sturzaka stays alive in the middle of the halfback. And Brady gets his hands on the football. Close down the Manawatu attack. Buckman. And Manawatu starting to warm to their work on attack. Great few little opportunities for Manawatu there. Little, little interplay in the five, five metre channel and they're making some good yards. Just one more pass and no there or thereabouts to score a try but once again Hawks Bay with great hustle defense Twenty two meter line just middle of the screen and little kitty kitty for Tharma I'll be Matthewson hanging on his legs <laughs> Oh, another error to the speed of the line of Hawks Bay in defence has been a real feature today. Good straight line, up quickly, lots of hustle, lots of aggression in their movements, good. I think one of the key is if they're getting set early. They're getting set early and are in front of their defence and the line speed, getting off the line, getting in, in the face of the Manawatu players, handling, handling errors that are creeping up there for Manawatu. So Hawks Bay, after no ball and no field position for the opening eight minutes of the game. Remember they started with those three unforced errors. They find themselves, as we approach half time, ahead by 19 points to six. Find. After a pretty ordinary start. Yes, <laughs> nine. That ball in the, that went straight down the middle, sort of. Wilford says the half time hoot is gone. So three very good tries to O'Connor, Kaka and Tilusa via Inu. 19 points to six. And Jason Emery from Manawatu is downstairs with Willie Lusse. Thanks very much, Ken. Yeah, Jason, you'll be disappointed. How do you get back in this game, mate? Oh, we're going to pick our school up. You know, it's not good enough. Um, you know, the weather's fine. Um, Got to sort out our structure, you know, we hold the ball pretty dangerous, but then, you know, we've got to sort out the out as well, so there's a bit of a mix of everything, but I know we can still do it, you know, we've just got to get our hands on the ball and play some rugby. All right, mate, good luck in the second half. So have some royalty here in the form of Sir Colin Meads, who will present the trophy to the winning team. There he is, the great All Black. Half-time, 19-6, Hawks Bay over Manawatu.
Uh, do you want to check the 63? Sweet, okay, this is uh, the 63 in the tunnel in the back of camera 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sounds pretty good, I can hear myself. 1, 2, it's cool. Cape Kidnappers golf course here, central Hawke's Bay, and another lovely backdrop for us to enjoy this lovely part of the world. Three tries to Nolo, Konakaka and Viainu, the higher west, and it's kicking at 66%, and Jade Terude, who scored the first two penalties, uh, nothing doing since for Brendan O'Connor, experienced player. And that ball off the shoulder of Atkins, who ran a very, very good line. And that ball didn't go forward, it went back. This is the great angle here. This left to right pass is a tough pass to make, but he's, he's done as good as he had to. And Kaká has just gone in beautifully in the corner there. And Tilu Savia, you know this very, very exciting young kid on the right wing. And have a look at the work that he had to do here. Kaka with a ball out the back door. Three defenders, a little left, right, then on the outside. Too good to the Save Inu. Nice try. In the dressing room at half time, the Hawks Bay coaching staff will be comfortable with a 13 point lead. Looking at the half-time stats, which have been much in favour of Hawke's Bay. Territory 70, up at 75%, nearly 74, 75%. Three tries to none. Hawke's Bay are doing all the right things at the right end of the field. Possession, it says 50-50, but the way Hawke's Bay have taken the opportunities, when they're in their half, it's showing on the scoreboard. 19-6, Hawks Bay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good contest. A bit of thought for Manawa 2. Thanks, Jason. I don't know where they're going from here. But it's half time. It's the home team, Hawks Bay, by 13 over Manawa 2.
more of the same for the home team, Hawks Bay, in the second half. And for Manawatu, some serious thinking about how they can get a little bit of field position. And the coach Craig Philpott from Hawks Bay is with Willie Lawson. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, Craig, you'd be pleased with that first 40 minutes. Territory, you dominated. You're dominating on the scoreboard. How do you finish it off? Yeah, I think we've just got to be a bit more patient, Willie. Uh, at times, we, the attitude's there, but we just need to take our time and be a bit more accurate. The scrum, though, how are you seeing that being policed at the moment? Yeah, it's a bit different every time, isn't it, to be honest? And uh, we just adapted, I think, pretty well to, to the, the length of time, and it's going OK. All right, best of luck. Thanks, mate. Chris Tremaine. Well known family, Hawks Bay life. Callum Gibbons, been busy defensively, not much time with the football, nor much time inside the opposition half. The higher West has had an armchair ride he in has. the opening 40. Great start for him, really. Great opening 40 minutes to his, to his campaign. and. Fords are really doing in the doing the hard yards for him, and he's he's controlling the game well. The locals here have just informed me, fellas, no changes either, Ken. But the locals have just informed me that rain is not too far away, so it could have an impact in the second 40 minutes. Oh, West goes long for Stuzaka. Jay Tarreras charge down straight away. Well, well, Zach Guilford. Some stage was going to make his move and showing plenty of industry in the chase. Plenty of attitude and what a way to start the second half for the home team Hawks Bay. That's all down to hard work off the kickoff. He's, he's chased hard there. He's forced the pass in field and off dream start for, for Zach and Hawks Bay. 31st ITM Cup try and one you're very happy with. Well, he did what you want from a winger, didn't he? He pressured where the ball went and then the kick in his 57th appearance for the Magpies. And lovely to see after it as well, fellas. He looked to the sky. I wonder if that's just a gesture to his father. Who obviously is looking down on him. The higher west. With the conversion. So do there. He had to run from behind halfway. Mark Abbott. I'm very impressed with Mark Abbott today. Matthewson. A little tip on play from O'Connor to Coman. The seven and six have been good. West. Ball going behind. Milner and in front of Lewis Marshall. Good play from Hawks Bay. He's dropped that very well onto his left foot there. Well, that's straight out of the coaching manual as well, isn't it? Straight after you've scored a try that's been converted, you take the kick off, you do the set things well, you go into the ruck, you push it a couple wide, and then you just look for territory, and that's what they've done. And already Manawatu have tried to force a quick line out there, and obviously not what the coaches would have wanted straight after half time. So the scrum is about 28 out. Saw them practice this, sorry Ken, saw them practice this, they actually used Zach Guilford at first receiver of the ball. I know he's standing behind the higher west, but... Matthewson, west. Showed the ball on the inside and then offloaded. Vianu with a little grubber kick and now it's a foot race and Vianu loses the ball forward first, I thought. Knock on. Before it goes into touch. I've, I've got a knock on off his hand, okay? He's done well there to drop the ball onto his foot and keep it's it in the five metre channel. Great option out. there. Their blindside wings working hard to get across but Great way to keep it in. Elliot Dixon. There's Tianu. With some serious game time for the Hurricanes win. All black Dane Coles. Good injured late. 
and gave a very, very good account of himself. Good character lad, he'll he'll be back up ready for the scrum on this one. Part of the New Zealand 20s team in 2009. Elliot Dixon with the Napier Tech Club. And Ash Dixon. Ideal position for Hawks Bay once again already in this half. They get on the scoreboard here, they'll be, they'll, be, they'll be very happy with the start of this half. Well, there's no blindside winger. They've pushed Vienu straight in behind Ehia West, and so don't be surprised if West takes it to the line and actually uses him as a decoy. It's a dummy pass inside. It's a very good back three. Coleman, O'Connor, and Atkins for Hawks Bay. Five metre scrum. They've got an all black player halfback. They've got plenty of options that can hurt Manawa too. This close to the line. It's a good scrum. West to the line, to the line, on his hands and knees. Matheson only had to find the ground, and he did. The try scored. Tremendous determination. Good skill, and he's been terrific today, Matheson. And just reminding us all what a good player he is. Had the option of that big back row to go to. And instead, they went for a little 9-10 play. Ehi West has taken his right to the line, slipped the first tackle. Probably could have gone himself, but wasn't greedy. He's popped it up, and Albie Matheson right there to finish it off. Actually had a bit of work to do, but he's a strong, nuggety lad, and he's done what he had to do to finish. Yeah, conversion is good. And really, it was... Uh Sturz Acup, he got beaten. And we've seen the first change as well for Manawa 2 coming up. Brendan Templeman goes on in Jersey 16, replacing Rob Foreman, of course, who, as you mentioned earlier, played his 100th game. That's where the tackle was broke. He could have had another lick and go again, but have a look at this, the strength of Albie Matthewson. That's not easy to do in the tackle of Gibbons. And there's the celebration from the Magpies. With a try by Guilford and a try by Matheson. And both you could put down to nothing more than a determined attitude and a strong will from both players. And Marshall. The dummy before taking the line on himself. Marshall taking just short of the halfway to do that. Mark Fu Fear, that ball goes behind Fitzgerald. There's just no organisation in the Manawa 2 attack. They're struggling to get some shape. To do that. Guilford. Chip and chase for himself. To do that. Hawks Bay just doing everything right at the right end of the field. Their attack and line speed off the line is shutting down Manawatu's options. And they're playing at the right end of the field. Well, one of the players that you've been talking about quite a bit, uh, Abbott, just getting some attention here close to me. So I think they're still going to go on with the line out, but Mark Abbott seems to have done something to his left ankle. Dixon for Atkins. Brady with a little tip on for Buckman. Rushed ball for Chiridi. Kaka. Vianu. Marshall. Then Maurice has been quiet. Stirzaka, the halfback, waits, walks by. 
applying some pressure. Brady with a ball. Almost a good comb and tries to tidy up, but Matthewson, Billy's Kaka. Bit of untidy play from both sides with turnovers, but a man or two, we're trying to make the most out of this field position from this penalty. Yeah, well done from Manawa too here. Komen going back and then they, uh, the counter ruck here, you see it. Taofrui, he was one of the first, then they went over the ball and then lost their weight, but that's where the Komen just tapped it back. The assistant referee saw it. And now Terude will try and get to inside the 22 of the Magpies. In terms of the stats that we collect for you, and Lisa talked about it at half time. We've only had 24% of territory, one or two, so the majority of this game has been played inside their half. Fraser Stone, we tied it up by a few Bidens. Nice ball for Callum Gibbons. So now they start to make some inroads in the Hawks Bay defence to do that. With a cutout ball for Jason Emery. Running hard at the shot off loads. A beautiful ball and the tackle. And finally they get a try. And it's Lewis Marshall, the fullback. A good setup by a very good run from Gibbons after a pass off Crosswell. Then they hit the right side and now they finally have something to smile about. Absolutely strong running there. Great, great offloader, post tackle, and a great finish. Yeah, I got obstructed. I mean, and Pink are talking about a obstruction. That's Emery. Oh, it's a beautiful line by Lewis Marshall, running in traffic, only a little gap. It's those inches that count, and he's done everything he could in that small space to change it, change an angle, get in between two players, and shows good strength to finish this off. Yeah, I can't speak too. Yeah, I can't speak too loud, fellas, because the TMO is right next to me. He's sharing the booth, and uh, well, tell him it's a try. I've just said to him it's a try, so <laughs> stand by. Could save the New Zealand rugby union money. <laughs> just ask us. We'll tell you. Exactly, but uh, Emery was the key to that, fellas. It was a good line out. That's where they started it from a set piece, and they got it. He's been brilliant. His second year in the in the uh, ITM Cup. Look at that, taking it to the line, and then that offload. Well, that's class. Hard to coach something like that. Exactly. Finally, great, they've got something to celebrate. It's a great line, too, from Lewis Marshall. A good offload from Emery. The 13 and 15 working together as one. That's a very, very good try. To do that, he was the backup first five for the New Zealand 20s this year. He's good with the kick. One of Hawks Bay's first lapses in defence, really. Been solid all so far, most of most of today, and just in the tackle, not finishing it off. But great strength, great offload, and great finish. Oh no, no, no! Gosh, not That's frustrating for. Sturzaka and the team that receive the ball, they need to get back in the contest and an unforced error, which will mean Hawks Bay will continue to dominate territory and position and feed a scrum 10 metres out. Yeah, Jason O'Halloran hasn't got much hair left on his scalp and that'll just quickly be going as well with mistakes like that. That's just not what you need. And speaking of uh, all the great things that uh, East has been talking about, great crowd here too, fellas, 6,800 here at McLean Park. The opening round of ITM Cup 2013. Crouch. Matheson. Atkins. Nine to ten metres out, left hand side. They've had a lot of great op opportunities to attack from scrum. More than you'd usually have in a match, but uh, you know. Hopefully make the most of their opportunities once again down this end of the field. Sit. 
We were told um, when, when the referees had a meeting with us about the, the scrum engagement and all that sort of thing as well, just to let the public know that they will decide the cadence, but they'll also tell the halfback when to put it in. And something else that they're really going to be vigilant on in 2013 is the straight feed. Let's hope that Dalby Matheson puts it in straight this time. Just their attempt to change history. Good luck with that. Well, the last one he put in almost went to the number eight feet. Fine. The last one he went to invite the car park. That's how Six. straight that was. Matheson. Atkins. Wes. Brady. Wes wraps around, gets a return ball. Shows it on the outside. Oh, Wes, what a play. What a kid, what a talent. The Iowa West, beautiful return play. It's a little double, but they had a couple of decoy runners. They ran some good lines and with distractions for the defense. And then Ehi West, he's quick and he's skillful. Beautifully executed play between West and Brady. Very smart try. This is taking the ball. One of the keys is here, he's got the ball in two hands and all the players off the ball are doing their roles in the move. It's just opened a great gap for him. Balls in two hands, and he's just running the show today. Well, Tomasi Thama got caught there, didn't he? Because he didn't know whether he should stay on West or whether he had to drift out because there were threats on the outside. And that's what happens when you've got guys like Kaka, Vianu, and also Guilford backing up. So Thama made the decision to go wide, and when he did, West slipped through three tries in the first. That's their sixth of the game. What numbers for Green? And some changes coming up, and I'll tell you about those after this conversion. Come into ITM Cup last year. Ihaya. He's a very exciting talent. We've seen a lot of him at sevens. We've seen a lot of him in the secondary school rugby in our Land Rover first 15 coverage in Sky in the last few years. There's the first change. Jed Robinson, of course, with the Rebels and a former under 20 representative. Also, Carl Lowe in match number 92 for the Magpies. And some changes for Manawa too as well. Sturzaka, after that drop, he's been replaced by Parewera. Mark Atkins. And Carl Lowe. Gets into his work straight away. Carried back. And this time a more attacking type bomb. On the scudder. Go. Parewera. Templeman. Like a forward pass, but no call there. Fitzgerald loses the ball on the tackle. Lahif tidies up. Eaton. West. Out wide, and then a ball on the ground for Guilford. Marshall. Farmer. There's a look. Callum Gibbons. Abbott the tackle. And Fodawera for Jiride. Emery gets the ball and Buckman but spins out of the tackle then gets the ball away and a nice behind the back pass from Lewis Marshall then an offload and the ball's lost forward. The high west. Telusavi Ainu. Kitty kitty. Runs laterally, picked up easily by Via Inu. Advantage. Taking the space, this player. Chris Eaton. Number 21. Hawks Bay had a lot of numbers there at that ruck. They'll be disappointed they didn't make more of that. But Hawks Bay will be really looking to get down into Hawks Bay 50 and make another attempt at getting across the line. Yeah, and here comes Hamish Gosling going Number on in 18, four. replacing Fraser Stone. And they're going to clear the bench for Hawks Bay. All the numbers are up, it, waiting their boarding pass, and so there'll be a Made us up. big change. And uh, that's what Danny Lee spoke to us about before the game as well, fellas. He said that there's great depth on the bench and they're not afraid to go to it when they have to. And, well, that's proven when you bring on a guy like Carl Lowe in his 92nd match, and also Chris Eaton playing match number 65. 
get a clean grab on the ball. Alan Gibbons tidies up. And Papa Fodawira, we first, first saw him last year in the ITM Cup. Bidens. Good carry. Tony Kitty Kitty. Marfu Fear. Oswald Wakefield. And there's Gosling. Patient build up. Working defence from Lahif. Really, really happy with the way Hawks Bay are defending. They're getting into their numbers and their channels right and they're causing turnovers. And one loose pass. They were doing so well. Behind West. The ball was passed back, so it just goes long. And the ball wants the ball to turn right, but it'll stop for Lewis Marshall. Oh, that's a great neck gain as well. And I'll tell you what, it all came from Brendan Edmonds. The big loose head prop. He committed himself to that ball and he threw himself there. As we see the changes coming on. Jody Allen in 17, Johan Scooby. Scooby in jersey 18 and also Trent Boswell Wakefield. The under 20 representative. He's on in jersey number 20. Tallest player in the comp, that man on your screen. Scooby out of Pal Gymnasium High School. And in South Africa, made his debut in the ITM Cup last year. Yeah. Go to the sub-controller, please. He is a big unit. He actually walked past me to get on the field, and I couldn't believe the size of him, Ken. So, yeah, he, he's well over two metres, isn't he? Two metres, 07. So the luxury of making a number of positive changes. Hawks Bay when they lead by 38-13 with 23 to go. Jed Robinson joins the back of the wall, but it's not straight. Not often that's happened tonight. They've been pretty solid in their set piece when they've been in the attacking 22. Just let one slip there. Often happens with the change in reserves, but they're still playing down at the right end of the field. And we see the beginning of the program three Super 15 players on the bench for Hawks Bay. There's another change coming up too. Lewis Marshall being replaced. They before Newton to today. Patience, new voice. He looks like he's exciting. He's certainly, during the warm-up, he looks like he's got just another gear that they can go to. And the rain's not too far away, Stand fellas, up. so I hope you're comfortable. Get right in that hole, guys. Get up. One of the downsides of being a commentator is being in an air-conditioned box under cover. <laughs> As opposed to Willie Lusso, who's <laughs> braving the elements in his working-style suit, which he didn't pay for. <laughs> As this is another exciting kid, Fido Weta. Halfback. I didn't steal it either, just in case some people out there are thinking <laughs> that I walked out. <laughs> well, whatever description, Lossi, you didn't pay for it. As Terude looking for some field position. It's still a little bit overcast here at McLean Park. It's still Stick under 7,000, the home team have really given a great performance in this opening 60 minutes of the first round of the ITM Cup. Now Bryn Templeman into the front of the line out and then Fadeweda is forced into an error. Now Antonio Kirikiri. Good defence from Hawks Bay, that's been a real feature, just conceded the one try today. A little tip on play, saying so Direct running from one or two now a cutout ball. Two to do's first involvement. Now some counter rucking. O'Connor is in there. They join in there. Brady's in there as well. Good work. Mark Abbott taken behind the advantage line, but he secures the ball for his team. Eaton loses the ball forward. Good defense from Bidens. 
great turnover in the wide channel there. V Inu doing outstanding work to first rush up to put it, put the pressure on Hawks Bay, but then also with the counter act. This is him. It's the O'Connor in there. I've been really impressed with O'Connor tonight. V Inu working hard and creating another turnover. Thank you. So it's just pop up, find a winner. Stand up. AR Tremaine. Trophy. That's really good for me, okay? So don't shuffle backwards, please. Certainly, I didn't even get the trap. Yeah. Callum Gibbons. In a tough 60 minutes for the open side flanker. Most of the time on defence and inside their own half. Scrum from Hawks Bay. Good scrum. Kitty kitty. Can only run laterally. Eaves. Going forward for one or two. Another turnover. Great work again by the Hawks Bay defence. Hold, holding them up and creating the turnover over in the wide channel. It's just laboured though, isn't it? Really, man, it were two lateral running right from the get-go from the loose forwards and then it's just laboured ball that's come back so easy to defend against. A lot of side, they're just going, runners are still going around the same way without much decoy out the back and easy, easy defending by Hawks Bay. So those stats, big stats in favour of Hawks Bay. They've had more ball with more field position, the captain, Coleman, experienced professional next to him, Albie Matheson. Very solid contributors to the results so far. Chris Eaton. That's how Connor packed it. Number eight, is that Guilford? The higher west. Now Buckman, Kaka. Kaka, ball out the back door for Viainu. Good metres after the contact with Milner Scudder. Ihaia West, cut out ball for Abbott. Left foot step for the big lock. Over the advantage line. Eaton, good hustle from Fadawira. Very good hustle. And the turnover. But this time, Edmonds. Really getting himself about the big front rower. Hands in the rack. Great launch move to get Hawks Bay over and past the advantage line, but then one little mistake in the middle of the field and they've given the ball back to Manawatu. Yeah, Jody Allen, the man guilty of putting his big mitt in the rack there and pulling the ball back. But there's just no shape, no structure to a matter with two's attack from here. That would be disappointing for the coaches of Jason O'Halloran and also Wesley Clark. Bryn Templeman. The mullet going on there, Bryn. Kitty, kitty. I'm being a four in the line out. I'm going to try to get some momentum going forward. This is good for a man or two. Now, Fadawira, there is an untidy play at the back, so they lost a little bit of momentum. Callum Gibbons plays half back for Templeman to take the ball to the line. This is good play from Manawa too, getting a little bit of dominance and a little bit of go forward. Another wet up. And Gibbons on the 10 metre line. Now Tarude. Jason Memory with a little show and go at the line. He's tackled 24 metres out. But they've turned the ball over via Inu. 
Ooh. Counter rocked well, but just losing his feet there at the ruck and coming off his feet. Well, Carl Lowe, how many times have we seen this happen off in his, his career, fellas? 91 games. I was saying this is game number 92. He's taken over as the captain. He makes the tackle there. Then he gets straight to his feet. He reckons he's got all rights to the ball, and that's why he doesn't understand why the penalty went. But as you mentioned, he just lost his weight, didn't he? He needed to retain his, his footing just a little bit longer. But what a class player he has been in his career. Ideal position now for Manawatu to launch an attack. They need something to try and get back into this game after 65 minutes. Are we hoping something here? Well, get the hands, of, get the ball into the hands of Emery. Something happens. Michael Fitzgerald. Fido Rita can't do much. Fitzgerald, kitty kitty. It's the ball and O'Connor at the same time. Ten metres out. And left side by Thama. Taken by Eaton. And he's Scunby. It's Gerald. Templeman. And to there goes on the ground and behind him. Not much he can do. Taufui. Gibbons. Held up by Allen. Now he finds the ground. And it's laboured from Manawatu. To do that. Tharma. Here's a chance now. Down the left side and a good finish coming for Templeman. And a very patient build up. The presence of Tharma attracted some interest from the defence. And it was Templeman down the left side with the finish. Dharma's done everything right there. He's had to carry the ball in two hands right to the last minute. And he's timed his path perfectly. Well, this man of a two team last year, they finished sixth. As we see here, Tafui just going through and out in Fat Man's Alley. That's where you want your hooker to be. Tomasi Dharma just a slight change of angle at the last minute and finished it. Man of a two desperately needed. Jade to do that. Ball to bend around so the score stays. 38 points to 18. Another change coming up for Manawa too. Nate George, gee, speaking of young looking kids coming out, he replaces Jade Derude. And there he is, the young man in Jersey 21. Not much to this young guy, but he certainly is a class player. We saw that last year in the ITM Cup. Yeah, a boy out of Hamilton, boys high. Came down to Palmerston North in search of regular rugby at the top level as again Manawa 2 take the ball in but Hawks Bay win it back being aggressive off the ball and now Brady tackled in front of the post. He can't move, we're going to have a scrum. The, the, the moments after a kickoff are so crucial and, and uh, O'Halloran won't be a happy coach up in his box looking down as it's not ideal for Manawa 2 to score such good points down the other end of the field and then lose field position down here. Yeah, it was the counter ruck though, wasn't it? That man again, Brendan Edmonds, he's been a nemesis for Manawa 2 today. The loose head prop for Hawks Bay. He just went straight over the top of his body position. There is Nate George. Once again, Willie, another prime prime position to attack from for Hawks Bay. Yeah, well, they've got options, haven't they, both ways, and it all depends on how the scrum now settles. Which side gets promoted and uh, which way they go. Mate, 
This one. Four players out to the left. And uh, come down the right and off the back of the scrum. There's a nice off for Carlo. Strong and direct, and his impact off the bench has been immediate. The experienced Hurricanes flanker. For a moment there, I thought halfback went too early, but the later he left it, the bigger the hole that opened up. Well, there's a couple of things there. They could have given a penalty to either side because Flank has had the touch very early. We saw there with Boswell Wakefield. He's already off the scrum, but there the acceleration from O'Connor to get through and to give it to his captain. Looks like he winded himself in the process, and he's still not 100%, guys. Definitely looks like he's struggling coming back to halfway. But for a number of times tonight, they've been at the right end of the field with attacking scrums inside their 22, and they've come away with points. Another easy conversion for him, and I think that's his time tonight. O'Connor off the back and the offload, and look at the determined running from the experienced Carl Lowe. And he's been replaced as well, Ken. So obviously the injury there as he reached out, I think he's cracked the rib, or something along there. And that's it for Ehia West. He's been replaced by Regis Lespinart in Jersey 22. Don't know too much about this guy with a name like that. He sounds Spanish. He's played in France. Even better. Spinart. Richard Buckman under that ball. Ian Edmund cleans up the final player. Gilford. Keen to get plenty of footy. Gilford. Espina. Abbott. And Jody Allen. Abbott. Abbott. Into the halfway. Eaton. Buckman. Oh, beautiful ball from Buckman. Viaino with the chip and chase for himself. That back and cover. Manawatu. Great show of skill down the right side. And Nate George. Boswell Wakefield. Gillies Kaka. Zach Guilford. Plenty of options. Got Atkins on the outside. Left foot step, he's in between two defenders, Atkins. Guilford with a clean up. Allen. Abbott. Very busy today, Abbott. Eaton can go left or right. Espinar. Guilford. A little bit of a goose step. Eaton. He's okay with it. Fodder Wheeler goes long. Gillies Kaka cruising back. They're happy to have the line out. Maybe. First time Manawatu will be down this end of the field for a while since their last try. Looking forward to hopefully putting some pressure on Hawks Bay and staying down here. Seven minutes to go in the match, they need something to happen very quickly. Good work. Scumby. In the middle of the line out. Chris Eaton. Through. Thought about a quick throw. Well, you'd be pretty happy if you were Craig Philpott and Danny Lee with what they've shown today. Not too much of a change when the impact has come on from the bench, but I just like the way that Hawks Bay have structured the game. Used both forwards and backs, but boy, they've got some electric players out wide, haven't they? Templeman. Pressure is really building on Manawatu here. Another, another turnover. Handed 
position back to Hawks Bay. So they've got their third captain on the field as well, guys, so I might need a bit of help with regards to who I talk to after the game, because Coleman's gone, and so is Lowe, and now Adam Brady has been given the uh, responsibility of seeing the team through the last five minutes. And Zach Guilford has parked himself behind Lesby now. Good day today for Zach Guilford, Telusavia, Inu and Gillis Kaka, the back three, have been exceptional today with their running, have given us some real entertainment. And then equally Coleman, Atkins and O'Connor were very dominant as well. 6,800 here at McLean Park in Napier today, including the great Sir Colin Meads is in the audience and will present the trophy at the conclusion of the game. We're looking at a four try Six. bonus point for Hawks Bay. On the way. Guys. Of course all of this was supposed to improve the scrums. A lot of weight down in there, eh? To be honest, the scrums today have been a complete shim. What has been a, an otherwise very entertaining and very open game, albeit disappointed for the Manawatu team and their, and their fans. Carl Lowe, Closer. Albie Matthewson, no Michael Coman. The and they will very much have their eyes on promotion to the Premiership in 2014. And that will take a lot of encouragement. Ash Dixon was very good today as well. Sitting at the left of your screen. Crouch. Continuing his outstanding form in 2013. Find. Set. So we're expecting a set play here from Hawks Bay. In fact, the scrum has been won by Manu or two. And then won again by Hawks Bay. Good work on the ground from Edmund, who's been a real feature in the last 10 minutes or so. Once again, that counter racking has really helped Hawks Bay out tonight. Created another turnover. Espina behind for Guilford and the cutout ball for Buckman. Brady playing halfback. Espina. And it was isolated. Uh, Manu with two players had rights to the ball initially, but Edmonds with a great steal. Jed Robinson, the Melbourne Rebel. And a long ball for Buckman. Cut out ball for Viainu. Took on Tharma. Beat him on the outside. Eaton. Lespina. Atkins. Couple of grabs before securing the ball from. A player who's had an outstanding game here today, Mark Atkins. Eaton. Use it. Guilford, first receiver. Oh, oh. lovely skill from Buckman Vianu. It's a foot race, a right foot stand very to what a try. What a finish. This kid has given us plenty to enjoy today. But what about the skill shown in the passing and the offload? Narrow lane, Perfect. not a lot of room, not a lot of time. Perfectly executed. Perfect yeah, tip on past the free. Free him up like down the five metre channel and he's had a lot of work to do with the covering tackle coming across. We'll see again on the replay soon if this is a try. Yeah, well, two of the smallest men on the field as well. Newton, two drill in Jersey 22 and also I think it was Fade Rewa. Oh, He's no got across there. Look at them. They're trying to hold him up here. They're turning his body. Vianu celebrates. I mean, if you go by body language, he's suggesting that he scored that try. Not an angle we can see from there. This might give us a better opportunity. I'm, I'm, I should speak quietly because the TMO is next to me. So. No. No. Well, the only way that's not a try is if the ball doesn't make contact with the ground. Have a look here. I think the two men with two defenders have done superbly. Well, it deserved a try. I well, of course, just because we can't show you as a try doesn't mean it isn't. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> yeah, obviously, this is the end of the try, but he had a lot of work to do. He's had a great game tonight, and 
he'll be hoping it's a try. Yes, Bruce. Correct. Well, none of us have seen the ball on the ground. Thank you. So it's held up, no try, game is over. Yes. So the try is not going to be awarded, although we did see some brilliant build up down the right side. The Hawks Bay crowd are not happy. The final score is academic anyway. They were always going to win the game. It's a four try. Bonus point win for the home team, the Hawks Bay Magpies. Disappointment for the Manawatu Turbos who had high hopes coming into this contest. Outstanding game from LB Matthewson and Zach Guilford as well. The two All Blacks leading from the front. But in the end, a dominant and comprehensive performance. Hawks Bay 45 over Manawatu 18.